We're going to be checking out the differences between European homes and American homes. I'm excited to get straight into this. Before we do, I appreciate if you guys could hit that subscribe button. And yeah, let's jump straight into this to see what we got. So I wanted to start outside because it is very convenient. Oh, mailbox. Homes that I don't see in France. It has to do with the post office, which is not my favorite part of France. The post <laughs> office made me cry numerous times. But what's so great in the U.S. is that with your mailbox, you, of course, the mailman drops off letters. Right. But if you want to send letters, all you have to do is open the mailbox, put in your letters. Oh. And then you just raise the little red flag. Oh. And it tells the postman that you want him to pick up the letters that are inside. It's Yo, wait, 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 wait. I knew in America the letters got delivered there. But I didn't know you could send let. What? So in the UK, right, we have letterboxes. So our letters get delivered and mail gets delivered in the letterbox. But if we want to send stuff, we have to go to the post office or find these big mailboxes that can be on streets and they're basically outside shops and stuff. But what? Wow, that's so good. I never knew that. So you can send your mail with the post. Wait, what? Very convenient. That's so France, good. They're starting now where you can choose a time, tell the post office, leave something inside, etc., and plan like a whole appointment to get your what? mail picked up. But I think it's kind of nice that you just have this nifty arrow. That's so good. You can see some of the neighbor's houses next to my mom. Wait, wait, wait. But what, wait, can a neighbor rob your stuff? Or does the postman have like a key for it? Behind me, you can see... How does that work? Can't like a next door neighbor just like go in your mailbox and take your stuff? Some of the neighbors have nice that you just have this nifty Interesting. arrow. Behind me, you can see some of the neighbor's houses next to my mom's house. I always feel like I've made it home to the Midwest when I drive up and there are no fences or walls or things Mad. blocking the front yard. In the U.S. where I'm from, you can't really see inside people's backyards. Right. The front yards tend to be really open. That's not to say that sometimes you won't see fences, but usually you can see what's going on in people's front yards. I huh? Have three neighbors behind me. There are no fences in their front yards. One of the Yo, you will, typically you will never, never, ever see that in the U.K., bro. Like, in the U.K., we have on every single house hedges or fences on the front the front yard or the backyard. I'm going to say yard because it's an American video. But yeah, you, you will see uh, fences, hedges on the backyard, the front yard, everywhere, bro. You, it, it will never be open. You can see what's going on in people's front yards. As you can see, the three neighbors behind me, there wow. are no fences in their front yard. One of the things that I feel like is typically American as well when I drive up or I come to homes in the U.S. Okay. is that there tends to be a lot more cars versus the number of people who live in the house. So you can see here that there are two people that live at my mom's, but they have one two three four cars in the why country, and all four of those cars are their own cars what? and in france i tend to find that a lot of times there's one car for two people or maybe you've got one car for one person and, and you know one car for the other but there's not two cars for each person yeah i don't know many people in the uk that have more than one car for themselves like a household might have two cards but that's for one car for mom, one car for dad. You know what I'm saying? What? Why do you have multiple cars? It tends to be very American. So as I walk into the house, you can't feel it the same way that I can. But there is, first of all, a golden retriever. It's pretty, pretty American. Say hi, Piper. Say hello to everyone. It's also the blasty, cold, icy air that I'm feeling right now as the I'd air conditioning that. takes over. There is so much air conditioning in the US. I have personally maybe been in one home in France that actually has air conditioning. Yes. Right, listen. I have never, ever, ever in the UK been in a home with air conditioning. I've been in a shop with air conditioning, a restaurant with air conditioning. I've never, ever, ever, ever been in a home in the UK that's got air conditioning, bro. Ever. Ever. I don't know anyone with it. There's air conditioning in offices. There's air conditioning in restaurants, in grocery stores. But when it comes to people's actual homes, they tend to live without air conditioning. And in the US, air conditioning is in almost Crucial. every home that I've ever been in. And it is blasting. So in terms I'd love of the that. Of temperature outside and inside, it's huge. The next thing I'm going to show you is... Maybe the most, my most favorite thing about American homes. Okay. That I wish we had in France. 
and it's actually part of the window, so it sounds kind of weird. But if I open up this window, you guys will see that there is a screen. Oh, wait, what? On the window. So a screen pretty much lets us open up the window, get some fresh air in here when the air conditioning's not on, and it keeps out the mosquitoes, the bugs. Wait, wait, is that like another window? Is that, I can't see properly. Is that like netting? We need that, bro. In the summer, when I open up the window because it's too hot and we don't have air conditioning, I'm dying, right? Immediately, bugs and flies get into the room. It's horrible. I hate it. Bugs, the flies, etc. In Friends, I have never seen a screen on a window. I need to get some of them. We have flies that come into our apartment in Paris. We have mosquitoes during the summer. And I think it's so convenient and so nice. And I just don't. I have never, ever seen one in a French home. So, right. Yeah, same. Below if you have. But these are not very common. And when I see them, I'm like, <gasps> they're cool. We are in the US. <laughs> right, so, the next thing I want to show you is in the kitchen. And this is another one that I think is very convenient and that we don't, I've never seen in France before. So oh, here we are at the sink. It's gonna be the not only is this rubbish sink thing really massive, and I don't see that as often in France, like these really big sinks. Yeah, that is and big. Also the sink, when you like turn it on, you've got this contraption here where you're able to move. Wait, first of all, first of all, we don't have that in the UK. How on earth did that sink tap just come off like that, bro? <laughs> What? It's a hose. Also able to change the type of water. This is not something I see. What? As, you know, as common in France, but that's not really the big thing. I see. The big thing is the garbage disposal. Right. Okay. So I've seen one of these before in a UK house, and when I first seen it, I was like, "Whoa, this is game changing!" Right. But there's only one house I've ever... That was the only house I've ever seen it and ever heard of it being in a, like a thing, right? And it was a brand new kitchen. So it's, it's not common at all in the UK, but they're really good. But this sink thing, bro, is better, man. <laughs> Almost every home has a garbage disposal. So pretty much you're able Wait, to every put home? down the sink and then you turn it on. And it eats it. And it just blows all the food to smithereens. <laughs> That would be so and useful. And you don't have to put all of the food in the garbage. And I find that really convenient when you're cleaning and stuff. And I've never seen that in France before. Another difference is the amount of ice that Americans consume. And when I've heard I'm this. in France, of course, people in their homes do tend to have ice if you ask. But they don't right. tend to really have like massive ice makers. And when you go to a restaurant, for example, in France, and you ask for ice, you get like two or three cubes. Okay. And when you go to the U.S., you have like an entire glass full of ice. Sometimes <laughs> it's too much ice, if that could even be possible. And if you look at my mom's refrigerator, I already know what this is. We have these in the UK. Not many homes do have them. I was going to get one for this house, but we ended up getting a different one, unfortunately, because I love ice, right? So I wanted one of these fridge freezers with the ice machine. I really example, did. You already have right here. So you know, good. Ice that you can get at the front of the refrigerator, which I see less in France, but you can find, of course. But also just the amount of ice. So if you look into my mom's freezer, oh, wow. not only do you have like a massive... Oh wow! Massive, like bowl of ice here for the ice maker, but not only do you have one. Wait, that's a cool looking fridge freezer. I've never seen anything like that, bro. Normally our fridge is like boom, boom. This is fridge. This is freezer. Like two sides open like that. I've never seen like two sides on an, an under part. That's sick. There, but you also have a second one. So up here, there's also the ice. Huh? So she's got two different ice makers so that she never runs out oh, of ice. Oh, mad. I feel like that is something that you don't really see as often in France. Oh, no, you don't see really it. really shock me too much. So one of the final things that is very typically American in homes is we've got the good old couch over here. Yeah, we got them. Imagine that I'm having a very tired day and I want to relax at night and I want my feet up. Instead of putting my feet over here on this perfect ottoman, I'm just going to lean over and I'm just going to recline my feet slowly. Yes, Piper, just recline. Yo! And then, a little bit, and then I'm just going to relax and... Wait, that's like a cinema chair. Was that normal? Is that normal in America? Cinema chairs in your houses? <laughs> Yo, I don't think we have them. Like, you probably will be able to get them somewhere. But we just... Yeah, I ain't been to a home that's got that, bro. Back a little bit, and then I'm just gonna relax. 
relax and watch my TV. Oh, and look at the viewers as well. You know what? She should have said that as well. We don't have this view in the UK. Just gonna relax and look at this. Watch my TV. Bro, look at this, man. Wow. All we have is just a horrible street and horrible opposite houses with rubbish flying around everywhere. <laughs> Again, you guys are gonna let me know in the comments below. If wow. You why, but I feel like that is very typically American to be able to just recline my feet. And when I was growing up, they weren't electric like they are now. It was like a big old handle. Yeah, in the UK, you either gotta put your legs up across here, or you need like a a pufe, like like a, like another kind of like chair kind of. You bring to your feet and you can put your feet on. You would pull back like this and then your feet would go flying up. But super comfortable and practical, but not something I see very often in France. Can you guess how many televisions we have in a home here for two people? I'm going to show you. Television number one. Okay. Number two. Okay. Number three. Okay. Number four. Okay. Number five. And just in case one TV with the workout machines is not enough. We've also got TV number six. Huh? And finally, TV number. No, I'm kidding. Bro, I was, <laughs> yo, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. And here, that's just all of the thermoses, the insulated cups hey, that we have in the US. No, but seriously, when it comes to TVs, there are a lot of TVs in lots of different rooms. And most of the time in the US, people have televisions inside of their bedroom, as well right. as in the dining room, as well as in the- Oh yeah, in the UK, people have TVs in their bedrooms, as well as like li the living rooms, dining rooms. Den, as well as sometimes in the kitchen. And in France, I really normally see one TV in the Oh, is the that it in France? So it's just, as soon as I see lots of- Oh, France is different to the UK then. France might have one TV in each house, but- yeah, in the UK, there'll be quite a few TVs in each house. TVs and homes, I just think. Yep, this is the US. <laughs> All right, guys, that is a wrap on... That was good, though. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed checking out the differences. Our houses are so different. I would much prefer to live in an American home. I ain't gonna lie. It just sounds so good. And, like, your guys' views as well is mwah, beautiful, man. But really good video. Enjoy that. Let me know any differences you guys can think of as well in the comment section. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.